Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve problem number 51 from the second chapter of engineering mechanics book The Statics Part by R.C. Hibbler. In this problem there are three forces that are acting on the bracket as can be seen in this figure. We are being asked to determine the magnitude and direction of F force. It means the magnitude of F and the theta value and we are also being given with two other forces 6 Newton along the positive x axis and 4 kilo Newton force making an angle of 15 degree with a positive y axis. So these three forces 4 kN, F and 6 kN makes an resultant force of 8 kN which acts along the x dash axis which makes an angle of 30 degree with a positive x axis. So let's solve this problem. So considering this hook on which these forces are acting we will be applying the same concept as we did in our previous problem. We know that the x component of the resultant force is equal to the summation of all the x components of forces making this resultant force of 8 kN acting along this x dash axis. So the x component of the resultant force will be calculated as 8 multiplied by cos 30 degree which would be equal to 6 kN force is along positive x axis. So x component will be exactly 6. We don't know the magnitude of f so we will just place the magnitude of f and we also don't know the theta. So this theta is with positive y axis so we will be using sine. We have x component of f as positive because it will be along the positive x axis. Now the x component of 4 kN will be negative because the x component will be along negative x axis. So negative 4. Now since this angle of 15 degree is positive y axis so we will be having sine 15 degree. So in this equation this is only unknown. So keeping this f sine theta on one side and taking all other on the other side of this equation and on doing simplification we are going to get the value of 1.9635 let's say this is equation number one for second equation we also know that the y component of the resultant force is equal to summation of all the y components of forces making this resultant of 8 kilo newton so y component will be calculated as 8 sine 30 equal to there won't be any y component of 6 kN force but uh, there will be some value of the y component of 4 kN force so that will be 4 multiplied by cos 15 degrees the y component of f would be positive f cos theta so we can simplify for f cos theta so on simplifying this f cos theta would be equal to 0.1363 this will be equation number 2 now dividing this equation 1 by equation number 2 which means f sine theta equal to 1.9635 divided by f cos theta divided by 1.1363 so this f and f will get cancelled so this 10 theta would be equal to 14.4 so from here we will have theta by taking 10 inverse of 14.4 and the angle would be 86 degrees so we have just calculated this which is 86 degrees now how about this so this can be calculated by putting in any of the equation in equation 1 or equation 2 so let's say if we put in equation number 1 then it will be f sine 86 equal to 1.9635 now in this equation only f is unknown so on simplification we are going to get the value of 1.97 kN as the magnitude of force f so this is one of the answer this is another answer so now we have calculated the direction theta and also the force magnitude of force which is 1.97 so this is how the calculations will be done when we are being given with the magnitude and direction of two forces the magnitude and direction of third force is required when the resultant is also given. So this is all from this video. I hope you have got the concept how the calculations are to be done in this case. If you have any question related to this problem, please let me know through comment section so that I can come back to you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in next coming videos. Thank you.